So it's time for another comparison, and this time it's going to be between the Figma Mercy over here and the uh, Hespera Mercy. Starting right off the bat, you can see that the Figma Mercy is very tiny in comparison to the Hespera one. And um, that's probably going to be like a little bit of a turn off in case you uh, wanted to um, intermingle the, um, the figures, like the brands. Like uh, Soldier here, for instance, you can see he just towers over... Um, Figma Mercy, but he looks pretty good skit. Yeah, he's like in perfect scale with the Hasbro one. And uh, you can actually make the Figma figure a little bit taller because she's got these drop down hips. So you can pull them up like that. And uh, it's still off, as you can see. But if you just look at Mercy from a pure uh, like design standpoint, the Figma one is just so gorgeous. Let's take a cl little closer look. So, comparing the heads first off is that just look at Mercy's head here. It's flawless. It looks exactly like in the game. Hasbro looks good, but it's not nearly as defined as the Figma one. Which is funny, actually, because that just shows how long, how far Figma has come when uh, they make Overwatch heads, because this is the original Tracer right here. And you can see there's a very strong, like, cartoony slash anime look to it, and it really doesn't look like anything uh, Tracer look like, looks like in the game. And meanwhile, here's the Hasbro one, although with a Figma visor. And... Um, you know, she looks spot on. So, going back, Figma also obviously has way more paint detail. Pretty much all these silver bits here are uh, custom painted in. I, I know I should probably have done the customizing after I made a comparison, but I only recently got this one and uh, I've had the Hesper Mercy for ages. Same with this little red piece here was unpainted when I first got it. I'm not really sure if these silver bits were unpainted, but it wouldn't surprise me. And uh, we can just go into the design of the wings as well while we're here. So the articulation here is just, it's a ball and socket, which makes it easy to maneuver like this. But the drawback is that they're really easy to just accidentally pop off if you move them a little bit like if you move them forward a little bit, they just sort of slip off. And the Figma Mercy has these traditional Figma joints, so they move in and out very easily, and you can rotate them here. And overall, they just look a whole lot better. You can also do a power down version because all these little um, energy effects are removable but i'm not going to go into that because they're sort of it's not really hard to get them in it's just a bit time consuming and i don't really feel like going through it uh, the second thing that really annoys me about the hasbro mercy is that she her her grip hand is endlessly frustrating so she's holding it decently now, but as you can see, oh, I just moved it slight. Oh, she just held it decently because it was like tucked in between this loincloth bit. Yeah, she. This is about how well she grips it. It's unpainted. It's just this awful, like, Look the way they sculpted her hand. It just doesn't work. The inability to hold the stuff was actually the biggest reason why I decided to buy the Figma Mercy, because from like the pictures and stuff, I knew the head was way better, but I was pretty much fine with the body for this figure otherwise. But just in hand, this figure is just gorgeous, like I've said before. Uh, we can go over the staff here. She can actually hold it. She has a firm gripping hand here. Um, the staff is a lot better painted, as you can see. And uh, these bits are articulated, so they don't have two different modes. You can also see some more 
silver paint detail in here. Absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, she can actually hold it, which is a massive improvement. In terms of articulation, it's pretty much, you know, Figma has pretty much double jointed elbows. Like, in terms of range, it's just like a Figma joint, but, you know, Figma joints are just fantastic overall. Mercy here has a single hinged elbow, it goes pretty much exactly 90 degrees. Hips a little bit blocked by this entire getup here, but they work. Chest moves here, got a crunch here. Double jointed knees, goes to about there, looks all right. And the ankle tilt here. Figma Mercy, way more poseable here because these bits sort of shift out of the way. And then knees are a little bit uglier and they can actually move even less than the Hesper figure. She's got the, she does have a tiny bit of an ankle tilt and then she's got the same type of chest joint like uh, the Hesper figure. She can't really crunch her torso all that well though. Like, from a design point perspective, the Figma one is just flawless. But, just this sheer scale of this one makes me... I want to do... I want to do a head swap and an arm swap. And I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out, but... I've already mixed and matched, like, a couple of things, like this tracer, for instance. I've got the visor here, I've got the energy effect here and back here and uh, I gave her the Figma guns and uh, same with Genji I gave him the Figma head but the Hasper body because like I've said in that video I absolutely despise the Figma Genji's body so um, I don't know maybe we can make it work I will also try to give her the wings so um, I'm just gonna quickly heat up the Hasper head and uh, get this head off and I'll see how it works in scale. So I've started by taking both figures apart and you know here I have the body, the bodies and the arms. Arms just pop straight straight off with um, the hairdryer and um, you know the Figma arms are around the same length so I think it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna have to drill out a bigger hole here for this ball joint to fit in. And I'm also going to have to drill in the neck post for the head, but uh, yeah. I'm not going to do this live because of um, reasons, but yeah, let's see how it turns out. So here is the amalgamation of the uh, Figma and the Hasbro Mercy, and I think it turned out really good. The head might look a little bit too small, but then again, you have a soldier here who, you know, head and... If you just like pose it around, I don't really think it's that noticeable to be honest. Arms, pretty good scale, they might be a little bit too short, but I think they look good. They're actually more poseable now because of the ball connection here, so they've got like a butterfly joint too. And, uh, oops. and I transplanted the wings on here too. I filled up the holes with some hot glue and then drilled the holes so they the um, wing connections just sit there and yeah that works perfectly fine I also changed her um, the shoes just to get these um, this extra color here without having to deal about paint rubbing and that stuff I might paint in like the yellow on the knee pad here but I'm not really sure if I can be bothered to be honest maybe but uh, yeah, I'm just happy to have a Mercy who can actually hold her stuff now, not this one, uh, this one. And we do it as... She holds it perfectly fine. And we have the gun as well, which she can also hold. I wish she had like a holster for the gun, but... I know she doesn't have one in the game, so she just sort of pulls it out from her back. My desk is very uneven, so it's sort of hard to make characters stand from time to time. But yeah, Mercy, my, well, my ultimate Mercy now, because it's combination, like I said. Uh, I guess I can go into this 
it's not really related, but here's Moira. This is her head. I'm really satisfied with how she turned out so far. Um, and here is the body. And there's a lot of sculpt work here, especially on these legs. God, they were annoying. Uh, the boots sculpted, body armor. Yeah, pretty much everything is just sculpted. And she's got. I hollowed out this bit on the arms just to get some extra bend to them. And I got some Castlevania hands. Because uh, of the nails. So just like, imagine. But I don't actually know what I'm going to do about, um, you know, all the rest of the stuff. Like, I have these figure arts cell wings. It's a bootleg, so I didn't pay that much for them. And I thought I could use them as, like, these hip pieces, but I have no idea how to connect them. And then, um, you know, she has that big machine on her back. I don't know how to do that either. So I went ahead and bought this lab coat. And I know it's a little bit bit of like a cop out, but I might just have this as the undersuit and then have the lab coat on top of that to um, just like save myself a headache. I know it's a little bit of a cop out, like I said, but I, I'm not really sure if I could ever finish this otherwise because it's just so much intricate sculpting. But yeah, mercy on Moira. Mercy on call.